In this video, we are going to discuss kinematics. Check your understanding. Question four. So, question is a material point moving along a straight line enters a 87.5 segment with the speed 5 meter per second and leaves with the speed 10 meter per second. The particle crosses the segment with unidirectional acceleration, which never exceeds. So, maximum value of acceleration is 1 meter per second. We have to find out range of its average acceleration of the point on this segment, right? So, this is a uh, as far as level of JE advance is concerned, this is a tough question. So let us see how do we solve this. So here the concept is the average acceleration formula is delta V by delta T, right? So here delta V is already given. Delta V is 10 minus 5 because it is 10 meter per second in final 5 meter per second is initial. So 10 minus 5 is delta V, which is 5 meter per second. And then since we have to find out range of average acceleration, there has to be a range on time. So we need to find out the range of time, okay? So range means there will be a minimum time, there will be a maximum time. Now in this, first we are finding the minimum time, then we will reverse the logic and find out the maximum time. For minimum time, now the this uh, I have taken from the hint, right? The, that is given in the backside of the book. So, so, and then you will understand, I will explain this. Sooner the particle increases its speed, minimum the time taken, right? Since maximum acceleration has a limited value, so you can have maximum only up to one meter per second. So sooner the particle increases its speed for remaining time, right? For the remaining time, the particle can move with the higher speed, so thus minimizing time. So that's the concept. So now I have drawn the graph here for first case. This is velocity V and this is time, right? So let us see. So initially itself, the particle is moving with the maximum possible acceleration. So this is the maximum possible acceleration one. That is why dv v versus t graph, its slope will give acceleration. So this is 45, right? And 45 is one. Then particle comes here, increases the maximum speed and the speed cannot be more than 10 and then continues with 10 meter per second, right? We need to find out how much time it will take. So then we also know that v versus t graph uh, the area of that graph will give us the total displacement, which is 87.5 given in the equation. So now see, this is 5. So since this angle is 45, this is also 5 seconds. So this 5, this T0, I have to find out. So this T0, we'll find out from the area under the curve. So area under the curve, this area is 25. This area is 25 by 2. And this area is, this is 10 T0. This is equal to 175 by 2, 87.5 I have written as 175 by 2 T naught comes out to be 5 seconds. So minimum time is how much? 10 seconds. So minimum 10 seconds the particle will take. So if it is 10 seconds and then see here velocity was 5. So the first answer will be if minimum time that means we are getting maximum value of average acceleration. So the maximum value of average acceleration is 0.5 meter per second square. Now to find maximum time we can reverse the logic that if time is to be maximized then the particle should move most of the time with minimum speed. But the condition is that it has to exit with 10 meter per second. So most of the time it can move with five. Then after that, take maximum acceleration and exit with 10. So here, this area should be 87.5, right? Since this is again 45 degrees, so this is five, this makes it five. Now this we will, this T naught duration, we will calculate from area under the curve. So area kitna, ye 5 T naught, this is 5 T naught. This is 25 by 2, 25 by 2, this is 25, right? So th that's 25. So this is equal to 175. From here, you get T naught as 10 seconds. So total time here is 15 seconds. This is maximum time, minimum average acceleration, which is 0.33. So for second, it is 0.33 meter per second, right? So it's a very uh, good logical question, which can come in J at once. Uh, so if, if you have not understood, you can just watch this video once again. And keep this logic in mind that for minimum average acceleration and maximum average acceleration, whatever logic we have applied, keep this in mind, right? And either this question can come or a similar question also can come in J Advanced 2022. So that's it. Now, thank you for watching. If you have liked my analysis, please uh, hit a like button to this video and please subscribe to this channel. Thank you. We'll meet again.